Uh, good evening. What is the state of uh, readiness? I see the team there behind you ready to be deployed. A very good evening to you, Taba. Well, I can tell you that the team behind me is trained and ready to kickstart census 2022. Uh, Status A, uh, Tabo has conducted three census since uh, 1994. They did one in 1996, uh, in 2001, and the last one was in 2011, where they came to close to 50 uh, million people that they counted in the country. So today kickstarts a census 2022, when the minister and the presidency, Mwendli Ngungubeli, will be joining the team from States SA and the trained personnel behind me, which are uh, also trained according to uh, COVID-19 protocols. Uh, of course, this is a different census this year, and it's also going to be digitized. So South Africans, um, foreign nationals, and many people that are able to go in line will be able to answer the questionnaire digitally as opposed to having some of the guys behind me approach them. They have been trained on how to deal with homeless people because they will be going out to various places across the country. They're particularly starting here this evening, and what they'll be doing here is just counting those who are leaving uh, the country, and they'll be just asking them a few questions as they kick start census 2022 and uh, how are they going to ensure that everyone is counted at the end that no one is left behind So they have been doing this uh, for quite a number of years. Like I said, they've conducted about three uh, census since 1994. And uh, they are training people continuously, particularly uh, towards this time, because they'll be doing it uh, between this month until March. They'll be going to places like... Um, you know, where the homeless people are. And that's where this evening the Premier of the Western Cape, I understand, Ellen Wendy, as well as the Mayor of Cape Town, Jordan Hill Lewis, will be with some of the Stats SA staff members who are also going to be kick-starting that leg in terms of counting the homeless people. They'll also be targeting hotels, BNBs, etc. But they're starting this evening with the Minister and the Presidency, particularly by counting those who will be leaving the country. But I tell you that uh, having done this many times, and because they are mandated according to a state's essay act, they are trained and they do know where to go in order to ensure that they leave no stone unturned. Artin Tonga, I appreciate your time and uh, thank you very much uh, for coming through uh, tonight uh, with us here on In Focus. Of course, Artin Tonga, they're looking at that story very carefully. As soon as uh, the minister joins the team, I'm sure we'll be touching base with Artie as well.